Chinese New Year explain for preschooler. Today is Chinese New Year. Pippi is busy decorating her home to celebrate this holiday. Oh, hi, Titi. Hi, Pippi. Ooh, what you're doing? I'm decorating my home to celebrate the Chinese New Year. Uh, didn't we already celebrate New Year last month? Ha ha ha! No, Titi, that was Solar New Year. I'm talking about Chinese New Year, a traditional holiday that celebrates the beginning of a new year on lunar calendar. Er.、Uh, I'm not sure I understand that. You know what, Titi? Come with me to the magical realm and learn about this holiday. Okay, let's go. As you can see, Titi, today is Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year is the holiday that celebrates the arrival of spring and the start of a new year on the traditional lunar calendar. Lunar calendar. Spring. Er,、uh, what is the lunar calendar? Well, Titi. It is a special calendar that is created based on the cycle of the moon or the moon phases. Today, most countries use the solar calendar system, which is based on the apparent position of the sun. But in the old days, many countries used the lunar calendar system. Oh, I see. Because of this, Chinese New Year is celebrated on a different date than the International New Year's Day. Chinese New Year is celebrated in many Asian countries, such as China, Korea, Japan, Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, Vietnam, Philippines, Singapore, and more. The Chinese New Year is commonly known as the Lunar New Year. However, it has many different names. Imlek in Indonesia, Dead Holiday in Vietnam, Songkran in Thailand, Bagong Tahun Cino in Philippines, Gongsi Raya in Malaysia, Sugatsu in Japan. And Chuseok in Korea. Chinese New Year's usually lasts for 15 days. It begins with the first new moon of the lunar calendar and ends on the first full moon of the lunar calendar. Oh, now I see. Every Lunar New Year is presented by one of the twelve animals in the zodiac. They are rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig. However, this might vary. From country to country, in Vietnam, the fourth zodiac animal is cat instead of rabbit. In Korea, the eighth zodiac animal is sheep instead of goat. Whereas in Japan, the last zodiac sign is boar instead of pig. This year, the year two thousand and twenty-two. Is the year of tiger. 
Yay! It's my year! That's right! Next year, the year 2023 is the year of rabbit or cat. And the year 2024 is the year of dragon. Sir P, what do people wear during this holiday? During this holiday, people dress up in traditional costume like kipao in China, kimono in Japan, hanbok in Korea, and alzai in Vietnam. Costumes Wow, I wonder how I would look in these beautiful costumes. Well, T, let's try them on. So, what do people do during Chinese New Year? Well, T, before the New Year's Eve, people clean up their homes and decorate them with beautiful ornaments and decorations. They fill their home with beautiful decorations such as calligraphy, couplets, paper cutting, and red lanterns. Calligraphy, paper cutting, cubelets, lantern. Well, what is calligraphy, Pipi? Well, T, in some countries like Japan or China, people hang beautiful writings of a special word or character on the wall. These pieces of writings are called calligraphy. People believe that hanging these calligraphy scroll on their home can bring about fulfillment and good luck. And what about paper cutting, cuplet, and lantern? Paper cuttings are artwork with beautiful shapes or designs like flowers or animals. They are created by cutting beautiful shapes or designs out of a colored piece of paper. Paper cutting Cuplets are New Year wishes written on a scroll or a piece of paper. They are displayed on doorways or entrances to attract good fortune into their homes. On the Chinese New Year, red lanterns are hung on every street and every doorstep. The color red is chosen as it is the main color for this festival. Red Lantern On Chinese New Year, people also place special plants like peach trees, kumquat trees, bamboo plants, jade plants inside of their homes. These plants are often decorated with twinkling ornaments. So, P, so what other activities do people participate in during the Lunar New Year? Well, there are many cool activities to enjoy in this holiday. People would visit their friends and relatives to exchange good wishes and pass out lucky money. Wait, did I hear lucky money? Yup, you heard me right, Titi. During Lunar New Year, young children are given shiny little coins inside of red envelopes. They are called the lucky money. It is believed that the shiny light coming out of the lucky money can chase away bad luck and bring about good fortune in the coming year. Ooh. On New Year's Eve, family members and friends get together for reunion dinner. Reunion dinner. There you can enjoy all kinds of yummy dishes. Ooh, yum! Each country 
has a special types of food for this holiday. In China, people cook special dishes like dumpling, which represent wealth as it shapes like little coins. Dumpling, sweet rice bowl, which symbolize reunion because of its round shape. Sweet rice bowl, spring roll, which symbolize prosperity because it looks like a gold bar. Spring roll. Noodle, which symbolizes longevity because of its length. Noodle. Steamed chicken, which represents family reunion and protection from bad omen. Steamed chicken. In Vietnam, a square-shaped dish called sticky rice cake and a round-shaped rice cake is served during this holiday. These dishes are served to express gratitude to the gods, as the green sticky rice cake represents the shape of the earth and the white rice cake represents the sky. In Thailand, dishes such as Thai money bag, fish cakes, satay chicken are cooked during this holiday. In Japan, people enjoy traditional dishes such as mochi and osechi, which are placed in a black bento. These are the most have food on Lunar New Year. Wow, they all look so yummy. I just want to eat them all. <laughs> on the night of the New Year's Eve, people take to the street to join the Lunar New Year parade. Special performances such as the Dragon Parade, the Lion Dances, are performed by the street dancers on this special occasion. Street Dancers Lion dance Lion dance Dragon parade Dragon parade Wow! What an amazing show! Firecracker also lit up for this celebration. Firecracker. Can you hear the sound of the firecracker, Titi? Yes, of course, Pipi. It is such a lovely sound. But what people love the most is probably the spectacular firework display that light up the night sky. Firework. Wow, that's so beautiful. So, Titi, would you like to join me and celebrate this festival? Sounds like fun. Let's jump in. <laughs> 